Hello, I am Brian Benio from Printmaking Intermediate. I will be discussing a little bit about the dry point intaglio technique, what it is, and the process to create a print using this technique. Dry point intaglio is a method of printmaking where the printer uses a sharp tool to scratch lines and grooves into a plate. These grooves will catch and hold onto ink that will then be pressed and transferred onto a medium, typically paper. To start, it's ideal to choose a photo with a nice subject and interesting background. For my process, I printed out the picture and taped it to the back of my plastic sheet. I recommend using a black and white photo to help with differentiate the different tones in the photograph. Once this sheet is prepared to your liking, you can start scratching into the grooves. First, you want to create a template. This can be done by scratching an image onto a sheet of plastic. Because there is no color at this stage, one has to create value depending on how deep and far apart the scratches are made. Light and spread apart scratches tend to make a lighter tone in the photo, while making deep scratches that are close together make a darker tone. And for even darker tones, you can even overlap the scratches as well. This is extremely similar to the sketching technique as of hatching and cross hatching. Once satisfied with the results, we can move on to the next stage, applying the ink to the template. Depending on the direction you want to take, you can either apply one or multiple colors, just like the one shown on the screen above. Once thoroughly applied, excess ink is removed. How much ink is left over will determine how bright and vivid the colors will be. Once inking is completed and the template is cleaned up, preparation of the medium is next. In order for the ink to transfer, water and moisture must be applied to the paper. Because water is heavily used, it's recommended to use watercolor paper to prevent the paper from falling apart. I recommend making sure that the paper is thoroughly moist, but not too shiny. You don't want to have a lot of water left over or it can cause the ink to run as well. Prepping the rolling table and roller is also important as well. <clears throat> Placing a sheet of brown paper on top of the rolling table can help keep the machine clean and prevent ink from spreading onto your work. Once placed, I recommend tracing an outline of the medium onto the sheet of paper as well as the sheet of plastic to help center the artwork onto the medium. Once centered, place one or two rolling blankets on top of the medium to keep the roller itself clean and to help protect the plastic sheet from damage as well. It is crucial to make sure to use good amount of pressure when rolling, but not too much where you prevent the roller from moving. If you attempt to use too much pressure and use the roller as well, you can end up damaging the machine and injuring yourself in the process. It is also important to make sure the pressure is evenly distributed and that the roller is not crooked. This can cause an uneven transfer of ink onto the paper. If you plan on making multiple prints, I recommend switching out the brown paper to prevent any excess ink or ink left on the back of the sheet of plastic from contaminating and smudging your medium as well. After finishing a print, the prints are placed on a drying rack where they dry for at least about a day. And when on a drying rack, make sure to go from the most bottom rack upwards. Also, it is important to be mindful of other people's work on the rack as well. When retrieving your work from underneath someone else's work, make sure you be very careful not to disturb and smudge their works as well. Once finished printing, one must clean up after themselves. One can remove the brown paper from the rolling table and throw it in the regular trash bin. Cleaning your template is also important to prevent any ink from lingering and transferring onto any future projects as well. You do not, however, clean your templates and dispose of any ink or paint into the sink as well. This can cause contamination and clog the drain as well. It is recommended to either use oil or mineral spirits to wipe down your plates. If any ink dripped or smudged onto the table, 
It is considered to wipe down and clean up after yourselves to help the next printer from causing any contamination with their work. Once everything is cleaned and wiped down, it is important to properly dispose of the paper towels or rags used with the mineral spirits in the proper waste bin. The waste bin will be marked to indicate which bin is the correct disposal area. After 24 hours, your prints should have dried and be ready to display. In some cases, the water might have caused the paper to curl slightly, but since the paper is already done drying, you can place a heavy object such as a book to help flatten it out after a few hours. Thank you again for listening and tuning in to my explanation on the dry point intaglio process. Hopefully I've explained the process well enough to, for beginner people to understand. Hopefully this can help also anyone who's interested in the process to slowly get into the printmaking as well.